Welcome in to USL Pro Weekly. My name is Nicholas Murray. Very pleased to be joined by David Wagner. And David, the playoff field is set. The Dayton Dutch Lions are the last team to seal a place. And they did it in the, the hard way, rallying from an early deficit against the Harrisburg City Islanders to take a 3-1 victory and just keep the Wilmington Hammerheads out by a point for that eighth and final playoff position. I was really impressed by Dayton. What was it that impressed you most about their performance, rallying back against one of the best road teams in USL Pro? Yeah, obviously to get punched in the face early like that, go down uh, quickly. Uh, what impressed me is that some of the same guys that have stepped up all year did it again for them this weekend. Guys like Bardsley and Garner and Schwartz and Drew scored the goals. They've been key pieces of what they've done this season. They've all had their moments where they've either stepped up. I know Bardsley had a bit of a hot streak at the beginning of the year, but... Those guys came through here at the end of the season when it mattered most, and that was impressive to me. Now, Dayton will be going on the road to face the number one seed and regular season champion Richmond Kickers yeah. in the opening round of the playoffs this Saturday. And Richmond, very, very impressive last week yeah. against Orlando City. Very good 2 nothing victory. And obviously a statistical award winner today with Andrew Dykstra yeah. winning goals against Average. What, can Richmond continue this run of form, especially undefeated at home, on their way to the USL Pro Championship game? I think so. I mean, they definitely have the talent to do it. I think we've talked about it before. What's been so impressive with Richmond this year is that it's been a multiple party stepping up all year. It hasn't been one person carrying all the weight for them. Um, so that's just been consistently the theme. And you saw it again the other day. You saw Delicott, who's arguably, you know, he's a USL legend. He's been in the league for so long. Uh, step up, scored the goals there the other day, got him the win. So just, I, I can't, I can't, uh, you can't rule them out. I can't uh, rule out the possibility that I'm just running the table going through as well. They've just been so consistent, solid in the back, just great performances. They had just one hiccup all season, really. And we've got four games this Saturday, starting off with Harrisburg against Charlotte at 2 p.m. Eastern time, and then three games in the evening. Which game are you looking forward to most out of the four quarterfinals? I'm looking forward to that Charleston-LA game, actually, the most. I think that's going to be a good one. They had two really good regular season matchups. Uh, I think they're two interesting teams. For me, you have Charleston obviously coming back, trying to begin their defense of the title. Um, a little bit squad, different squad from last year, which won the title, but still some of the same pieces in place. They've played some good soccer this year, but I haven't felt like they've consistently broken out of their shell and really uh, lived up to all the potential. But they've been playing better as of late. And uh, I think that the playoff time is when they're looking to turn it on. For L.A., you know how great they've been all season. Um, they've had a few dips in form, but they have a lot of talent in that side, and I think it's going to be a really good matchup. Well, for me, I think it's Orlando against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a team that actually had Orlando's number in the regular season, Indeed. held them to a 0-0 draw at Highmark Stadium, and then went on the road, went into the Citrus Bowl, and yep. took a one nothing victory. So I think Orlando's got something to prove. There'll be a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, and, yep. and that might be advantageous. But the Riverhounds, very good team, in form right now, managed to hold a, managed to take a draw against Richmond in their final regular season game. Yep. So that should be a very entertaining contest on Saturday night at 7.30. Yep. Now, as the week goes on, we'll have breakdowns of each of the quarterfinals. So stay tuned on USL Pro's YouTube channel for that. And make sure to join us for USL Pro Weekly, where we talk with a couple of key figures for this upcoming week of playoff action. Until then, for David, my name's Nicholas. Thanks for joining us.